Hey, what's up guys? It's the narrator here and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if your day is already over, well, I hope it was a great one. So something that has been brought to my attention and more importantly, the attention of the internet as a whole is this insane issue surrounding fake animal rescue accounts. Now, if you don't know what I mean, then watch this video until the end because I think you'll come out of it second guessing what YouTube videos you watch from now on uh, and whether or not they're actually legitimate. So viewer discretion is also advised because some of the content is quite alarming. So a big problem that actually plagues YouTube as a whole is that there are many accounts dedicated to fake reactions and I'm not going to be too expansive here, I think the best example would have to be those prank channels. You know, the ones where seemingly random people are pranked with the cameras rolling and the reactions are filmed and at the end of it, it's all laughs. And although these videos are most likely faked, I'm not hating on them. Uh, I actually quite I actually think that the content like this is actually good because they're not hurting anyone and it can be on occasion quite funny. But where the real issue comes from is that there are now accounts that prey on the emotions of people in the form of animal rescue videos. Now, I love animals, don't get me wrong. My dog Lucy passed away a couple of years ago, but I had her for years when I found her pregnant on the street. Uh, animal rescue videos hit a soft spot for me because not only can I relate to them, but it's beautiful seeing the generosity of people being extended to the abandoned animals on the streets. You know, I watch a lot of them on Instagram, for example, if you don't know the, the, the Instagram channel, uh, Dodo, really good. They have a lot of animal rescue videos on there and it's all legitimate. But where I get really pissed off is the fact that there are quite clearly fake animal rescue accounts making videos that put little puppies, kittens, any type of animal that they can get their hands on in cruel and terrible situations for the sake of getting money. So there are many accounts that actually do this, but I'm going to show examples from just one of them. Just one. This video thumbnail from an account called Happy Dog is a perfect example. You can see from the thumbnail that the dog is trapped between a tire and there's blood sprawled out in front of it, okay? However, if you actually watch the video, there's no blood whatsoever and it seems to be photoshopped in. Again, it's a way to gather clicks in the form of shock value. Now this next example is in the form of a video and I want you to watch this and tell me that it's legitimate. So anyone can tell straight away that the whimpers that you're hearing have been edited in post-production. They also happen to be filming at the exact time that they happen to hear an animal in distress and happen to find it straight away in the exact spot that the animal is actually trapped in with no hesitation. It's quite clear to me and it should be quite clear to you that these videos are completely staged, but where it becomes very scary is that they don't seem to have a limit to the dangers that they're putting these animals in. If we're going to go by the logic that they're faking these videos, then it's absolutely shocking that there's videos posted where a dog has its hind legs broken, they have videos where a rabbit is being strangled by a snake, and there's even evidence of a kitten in multiple videos in terrible situations trying to escape from a snake or being stuck in a tree. It's crazy. And the thing is, this is just one account doing things like these. I know a couple of accounts around YouTube who do the same thing, but if you happen to know of any others, then please leave them in the comments below so we know who to steer clear from. It's fucked up, man. And there's literally nothing we can do about it except reporting the account and not watching their videos. But they get away with it because most people don't realize that it's actually fake. There are a lot of impressionable people out there who see the videos and think that they're actually doing something good. And the worst part is it's always taking place in what seems to be third world countries. So it's out of my reach uh, to actually make an impact. The best I can do is make a video informing people of what they're doing. I just don't understand how these people can actually live with themselves, right? Like how can they cripple animals and put them on display on YouTube videos and act like that they're saving them, you know? And it worries me so much because we don't even know what happens to these animals after the videos have been produced. Like there's videos showing the same animals in multiple terrible situations, but what happens when they're done using them? Do they just throw them away or like even worse, do they just kill them straight up? Like you have to be an absolute psychopath to sit around with your friends and think, hey, we can make it big on YouTube if we just abuse animals and then act like we're saving them. It sickens me and those people should be held accountable for their actions and at the very least you should should be banning their channels and look i know this video doesn't have the answer to what should be done or how we can stop these monsters but i hope this makes you think twice about what's real and what's fake going forward to make sure you're not supporting channels dedicated to harming others please stay safe and remember to wear a mask thank you